What's up all you Clashers, this is Kaz, and welcome to Kaz Gaming. Okay, so here we go, round three of some Fortress Feud gameplay. Okay, so here we go, round three, and I was excited to get this round started because I finally get my team back to full strength, and learning from hero placement in the first few battles, I decided to line everyone up on the bottom half here, and I placed them according to movement speed. So we got the faster guys in the back, the slower guys in the front, so that when everyone hits the opposite team, They'll kind of hit them all at the same time, and that should increase the uh, uh, survivability of the team and also the effectiveness. So I'm going to hop back out onto the map here and launch my team right away. Time is uh, of the essence, and I noticed we got the flag out in this round, so I launched my team one straight towards the flag. Team 2, I'm going to try and set it up just as strong with uh, Cupid and Pumpkin Duke. Still going with the same MO of everybody on the bottom half. And because I'm worried about the time, I'm launching each team as I create them instead of creating the three teams and then launching. So my, my goal here is to try and get to the center to help protect it. We've held on to it this long. We want to see if we can hold on to it the entire time. So because I can't get to the center, I've got to attack this blue capture point right here. And then we'll go ahead and make our, our third team here. And at this point, I'm down to just putting in the strongest heroes I got left. And then I figure I just put team three on this capture point here just to fortify it. So one of our guild members has already taken the flag. And so I decided to send my team down to this blue capture point here just to try and get some points before I double back to the center to help reinforce it. That point is left undefended and so that becomes an easy win for me and the guild. We're gonna watch my guys just rip apart this centaur boss here pretty quickly and what I noticed right before this fight is that the center is actually well guarded right now we've got um, quite a few guys defending it so that made me start to wonder how many of these capture points were left undefended so that's when I head into more territory towards this capture point here and just to double check that, I click on the spyglass. And, yep, the uh, center is still got three guys on it. So we're going to see how much points we can get before we uh, have to go back and help defend that. And here we are, I was right, there's another unprotected point. So some more easy points there. And now we'll take a look at how the guys are doing in the center. And you got some weak teams, so we're going to be doing all right. Here it looks as if my team two helped take down another flag. So the expedition for team one continues. We're going to see how many points we can capture. I'm a little worried about green right there. But well, we'll see what we can do when we double back.
And there you go, uh, yet another unprotected capture point. So some more basically free points for me and the guild. And we are just rolling right along here in this uh, round three. Right here I check the strength of the guy behind me. And then I roll back to challenge him. And now I'm making the expedition back to the center because now I see it as actually being taken over from blue. So now we get to see the uh, effectiveness of my setup, see how it does against a real team. And there you go, just as I anticipated, everyone kind of gets there at the same time and just smashes this team. No problem taking that point. Someone else must have jumped on because they only had one defender. But now I gotta take on defender number two. And we got that win, so now I'm making my way back to the center. Looks like we're challenging for the center once more. I get stuck here. For a little bit. Now I got time to uh, bring in another team. So just like before, just putting in the strongest guys I got. Just as a deterrent really, just to help out. So here's yet another battle with my team. Once again, we smash them. And now I'm finally free to move. And make my way back towards the center to help take it back. Here we are, the next capture point on our return expedition. And it's yet another undefended. So we're just gonna wait for it to happen. Here's where I tell my guild that I'm heading back towards the center to help take it back. That way they can send me help. And I'm just leaving my third team there for defense. Everything is riding on team one right now getting back to the middle. Much more intense gameplay going on here in round three between all the guilds. I'm loving it. So here we reach the uh, last capture point before we get back to the middle. Check the spyglass and it's undefended as well. So here I decide to finally move my team three to help defend this point. Because after this I'm gonna have my team one challenge for the middle. So there you go, we take it down, and I'm heading into the middle to challenge purple. We want this thing back. Here we go, and we got four teams sitting there. Can my team do it? First we got to get through the centaur boss. And we're up against a skull knight team. Boom. And we take it down. That was so sweet. We were actually able to get that Ares before he even procced. This next team is nothing. 
there's another decently strong team, but because with the Ares, we just smashed right through all these guys. So that setup working really well. Everybody getting to the other team pretty much at the same time and just destroying. There you go, four teams down. Greatest Fear now has the middle once again. Everyone else doing their part really well. We've almost captured all of the quadrant once again and then some. So we're looking really good for round three now. We got the center back. We got a lot of capture points back. Check the uh, message board here. I'm getting some praises from my guild members. Thanks a lot guys for that. But actually everybody re doing really a really good job there in round three. So this time we're gonna leave uh, the first team in the center there and not worry about it. And then we're just gonna send out some cannon fodder just to keep the opponents busy. We got about five minutes left here, so all we gotta do is hold out and it should be a win. Or it, it's gonna be a win. Okay, just about three minutes left to go here. We got a few more challengers at the center. So let's take a look at those. My team is still at full strength. So we're gonna walk right through these guys. And still yet another team that has no chance. So no sense even watching that one. Just hop into the message board here, let my guys know that I got the center locked down. And we got about one minute left. That's gonna just about do it. No need to even make any more moves there. So very, very successful Fortress View. Everybody doing a good job. There you go. <laughs> Guild leader says great job everybody. And we did, we kept our, um, we kept the center almost the entire time. We did a really good job in keeping our qu quadrant That's right, that's right. Domination. <laughs> Boom! And there you go. Greatest Sphere wins it by nearly a thousand points. That's how you dominate in Fortress Feud. Everybody did a great job. I think we all worked well off of each other even though we had a, a low participation in there. But everyone kind of backed up everybody else. And once we took the center, we didn't let go. And that's a win. All right, that's going to do it for this video, guys. I want to thank you for watching. I hope you liked it. If you did, hit the like button. And subscribe. All right, this is Kaz, signing out.